Medial collateral ligament injuries are among the most prevalent knee injuries seen in primary care. It's therefore of particular interest for our healthcare systems that physicians and physiotherapists are able to filter patients with suspected MCL injury prior to referring them to secondary care. But what are the key findings that clinicians can rely on in the diagnosis of MCL lesions? Let's find out in this video. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Kastelein et al. from 2008 conducted a study to investigate the diagnostic accuracy of patient history items as well as orthopedic tests to assess the integrity of the MCL. In total, 36 variables from patient history, mechanism of injury, signs at trauma, present symptoms during the first consultation, as well as findings from physical examination were included in their model. Ultimately, four variables made it into the model. Two findings from patient history, namely trauma by external force to the leg and rotational trauma. And two other findings from physical examination, namely pain during the valgus stress test at 30 degrees, as well as laxity during the test. In case at least one out of two findings from patient history and pain reproduced during the valgus stress test at 30 degrees are present, the positive likelihood ratio of an MCL lesion as confirmed during MRI is 4.8. In case laxity is also increased during the valgus stress test, the positive likelihood ratio rises to 6.4. In case only one finding from patient history is present, and no physical examination findings are positive, the presence of an MCL lesion can reasonably be excluded and reduce the number of unnecessary referrals for imaging. And even if a lesion is suspected, granted in the absence of knee locking or suspicion of a fracture, the recommendation based on clinical practice guidelines remains that of a conservative approach. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching this short video on a cluster for MCL injuries. If you'd like, you can watch our video on the valgus stress test on the left. Check the links in the video description for more PhysioTutors resources. And as always, I'd appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I will see you next time. Bye.